You and I are out in the public all the time. Uh, we spend a lot of time at charity events or going to restaurants or, or going being to the ballpark and yeah. seeing the fans. Yeah, and it, it is stunning to me. What you said is stunning to me because I'm having business leaders, I'm having uh, prominent people in the community that are coming to me saying, that's why I keep saying, stay on them, stay on them. I want something to happen. We're not going to the games anymore. I remember a year when I, when I used to own tickets right behind home plate and I was going and sitting in the press box and I would hand them out to friends and I remember looking at my desk drawer at the end of the season and I had a stack of tickets that had to be worth several hundred dollars or several not, thousand thousands, dollars, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And, and I think that people now are looking in the desk drawer and they're throwing those tickets into the garbage. Which and is you, like throwing money into the you garbage. You know why people buy season tickets and this is where the Rockies have a good situation. The reason why people buy the season tickets is they're hoping someday they'll be worthwhile. Sure. That, that, that they, don't, they don't want to give them up. They think that, you know, 2007 could happen again. Well, remember what happened in 2007. You weren't able to get tickets. The Red Sox got tickets because the Rockies didn't even know how to deal with tickets. So even though you may have those tickets, you may not end up with tickets in the playoffs. I just mentioned that passing, yeah. but you, you, all your observations were spot on. Yeah, I just, I just wonder why he doesn't understand what's happening. I, well, it's just beyond consider me. It, consider it. Consider it. I told you. You and I know this. So I told, a root executive said to me uh, that he told him, "I don't want to be in the TV business." Padres got in the TV business. They're making enough money to actually become yeah. a competitive well, team. Well, you know, it's funny you say that because I don't think he thinks he's in the baseball business either. I think he thinks he's in the business of making money. And the things he's doing, and you mentioned things like the party deck, um, those are making him money. And, and as long, you know, a lot of people have said this through the years. He's not incentivized to put a better product on the field because he's already making a lot of money. Now, he'll tell you time and again, he'll tell you, I want to win as badly as anybody. I'm as competitive oh, as yeah, anybody. But a, the fact of the matter is, that's he's a not. Lie. That's a lie. He's not. And, and, and even if he were, he doesn't know how to go about doing it. But, I, it's just unfathomable you know, I feel sorry for to the me fans. what's going on I there. really still feel sorry for the fans. You know who I really feel sorry for also? And they make a lot of money. Are well, these players. Because... People aren't going. I mean, how would you like to be a major league player and go out there and there's, you think it was 3,000, I think it was 1,000. I mean, I don't think it was that many people for one of the games, the, the night game. I feel badly for Tulo. He's going to spend his whole career like Todd Helton and just barely get We're into one the month into the season and Tulo is depressed. Oh, he depressed. Wants, he wants, literally he depressed. He wants out of here. Yeah. Uh, they can't trade cargo. Tulo is their best asset. Yeah. And they should probably you know, do the right thing for him. Trade him somewhere. I mean, he's still a valuable property to the Mets who are trying to be in a World Series, to a lot of other teams. Get some more young people because you can't, you can't draft and develop. I, the funniest thing I ever heard, and I'm, so, I'm going, was Dick Montford when I was saying to him, you got 18, 19 players that came from other teams and you keep talking about draft and develop. And he said, we count cargo as a draft and development. You didn't draft him. He, he was with two other teams before he came here. But they, they twist the facts to fit whatever they, they want to. And so I'm happy for all those bloggers out there that want to support them. That's fine. You're a fan site. We are reality site. We are here talking yep. reality. We don't, we're not living in some fog like a lot of other people are. And that reality was brought to you by John Elway Cadillac, Colorado's number one Cadillac dealer. When you go to buy a car, what do you really want? You probably want a lot of cars to choose from and you want the dealership's best price. Not some starting price or target price, the best price, and you want it immediately, not after hours of negotiating. And you want a salesperson who doesn't get paid more if you spend more, because, well, you don't want to spend more. Well, you're in luck. John Elway wants all of those things too. Better yet, John Elway wants you to have all of those things too. Come see us or click on elwaydealers.com.